What do you think? What was that? Six and seven shows thunderstorms. So I'm gonna get in the hammock. Hi, welcome back to Paul Camps 2, where I'm Paul, and I also camp. It's about 50 degrees today, beautiful sunny campsite, let's go take a look. It's a good site. I don't know where we're gonna put a hammock. Probably over there. Um, I'll have to do, because could do it over there. It's too wide, too far away. I like to be closer to the fire, and this is close we're gonna get. Group sites are wide open. But we have to hurry, because the wife's waiting on us. I did do it a little different this time. I unloaded everything on the table, and now to get wood. It's gonna be a good night. Good sight. Wish it was better for hammocking, but that's always the case. We could definitely go right here, but it seems too far away from the fire pit for my liking. But it's one of those sites where there's just no winning. So I don't know, we'll look around and see what we get. Other options are these trees right here. And I like this, they're big. They're very alive, this one to this one. And then I can see my fire, but it's gonna be on the wrong side of the trees. But the problem with this is that uh, the campground's supposed to be booked and neighbors will be right there if they have neighbors tonight. I don't know guys, I'm really at a loss for what to do. I kinda wanna go there to there, but I don't know how alive that tree I know it's a little tight, but it'll right. sink once I sit in it and hopefully not pull that tree down. Ready? We don't want this. So we can probably raise the ridge line. We'll loosen these up and do that. All right, that's great. We reconfigured with a little bit of rub right here. Once I sit in it, it'll be slouching further. Won't be an issue. Let's get the rest. Underquilt, sleeping bag, puffy blanket, pillows. And that's it, let's go. Neighbors are showing up, so I might get awkward around here. We have our hammock gear, 20 degree down under quilt. This is a game changer. The last camp was amazing. So we're gonna use this, because it might be 50 now, but it'll be 20 something overnight. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but one of the main problems we're gonna have is neighbors, um, but also it's nothing but slush underneath us. It's the best two trees we could have, or we could find at the camp. So, so just gonna have to deal. Puffy blanket on top, of course. If you need a puffy blanket, might I suggest puffy blanket. Two pillows and we're sorted. 
that's that, guys. One thing left. Uh, I think we stand back and admire our work. Mm hmm. That's good work. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. That's nice. All right. Uh, you can probably hear music, so that's bad. And what do you think? We can make a fire. It's early, but we got wood, and I'm hungry. half wet, but we're used to that. We did it in the last camp. There's a lot of people around, so try to keep our nonsense to a minimum. We're going to start this, make a drink, and then prep some food because I know it's super early. We're gonna have a late lunch. It's another benefit when you're by yourself. You can eat whenever you want. It's bad though, because you can eat constantly. All right, let's do this. No branding this time, unfortunately, but you know, the uh, all is about flaming bundle of sticks, fire starters are simply flying off the shelves. See them in my previous video. Nothing drier to start a fire with than warehouse pallet scraps. Doesn't have the natural oils of your birch bark, but if you look at it just right, the reflection off your glasses will light it on fire. And there we go. My ass did get wet from sliding off the log, so I got that going for me. All right, while this rips, let's uh, make a beverage and set up our own seat somewhere, because this sucks. Uh, bad. How's that? Worse? Nice. beverage. I made one of these so we're gonna be eating healthier. Let's go. <laughs> this is living. Ice cream by a fire Saturday 140 in the afternoon. Really doesn't get much better than that. Coffee shakes by the fire. Here's to clean living. To you, everyone, for coming along. Appreciate you guys. It's quite nice here. It's busy, so it'll die down. But campgrounds are supposed to be booked for tonight, so we'll try to film around it. For now, I'm going to enjoy my healthy smoothie and sit by this fire that needs work. tree right there. Maybe I can cut saw through it. Mm, that was great. What do you think? A little willpower? We can do anything. We just cut through one section of it. Why not, right? I know it's not an ideal position, but I'm not going to do it all at once. I'm going to start and stop. 
If I had money for uh, props, it would cut back to me with a big white beard We're still doing this, but. In reality, it's only been a couple minutes. <laughs> doing it with the toy version of a silky saw. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, something, something about the, not the size of the tool. According to your girlfriend. Good, cloudy for a second. So we're gonna start doing meal prep. Um, it's early, but we have to soak the potato. We're doing fries. We got one potato. Just let those soak for half an hour, probably in there with some water. So let's get off. One second though, we're gonna use the bigger pan because I need to heat the oil in the smaller pan. The whole collection. Two twenty-seven. Remember that. I'm counting on you. Nice day. I think we win. This rules. All right, music, let's bug the neighbors, and relax. Uh, we're doing fries, and I got a big old piece of fish. We're gonna try to do classic fish and chips. I did forget forget the lemon, so I understand if you unsubscribe. I get in there. What time did we say? I was counting on you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Supposed to dry them. All right, the bottle. Okay, so I have to start oil now because it's going to take forever. This isn't vegetable, it's got canola oil in it, and it's got a little bit of um, lemon infused rapeseed oil from one Clarkson's farm. Perhaps you've heard of it. I'll insert a shot. Our fish in another pan. All right, let's get this fish fresh. We got our breading and panko over there, so we're just gonna ocean fresh cod loins. Ooh, that was not a, not cheap. That's 1.39 pounds of fish, plus that huge potato. I'll do my best, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. See that? We're just gonna cut it in half and do it one half at a time, I guess. It's working good, we're lighting our handles on fire. Fish is sun roasting. The fries are drying nicely.
Got two batches is necessary. And those are on. That means let's get oil started for fish. So it's got ashes in it. Not gonna happen. Yet. Should probably stop sticking wet wood in it, eh? Not gonna happen. Alright, while that's reigniting like a Craigslist misconnection, we can batter our fish. Um, let's just dump it on. It's not enough batter, and that's a big fishy mess. Suppose we should cut that last one first. Mister just rinsed his hands. Okay, I was gonna throw them in here and toss them around, but I didn't bring enough batter. I did. That's a custom Cajun breadcrumb panko flour and like five other seasonings. I hope animals don't like it because I just sprayed all of them. See how it's going. What do you think? Should we start with a small piece in case it's not up to temperature? That way it builds and builds, and then by the time it's really hot, we have the big piece in there. You have to speak up. Oh, okay. You're right. Maybe we should give it another minute. Yeah, my fire's burning now, but here goes nothing. Piece number one. None of the breading stayed on. The fries coming along nice. Alright, time for the fry switcheroo again. Now we get the oil really hot again before we throw the fries in it. It looks about done. Guess we remember to play. Yeah, I know, super classy plate, huh? It didn't work at all. Um, I didn't bread it right, obviously, but it's still gonna be delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, it's cooked really well. Tastes good. Where's my fork? I mean, it's fish, it's cooked right. The breading's just not very bready. Oil doesn't make a good sub, uh, sticky thing. I should've used an egg or um, maybe, probably just water would've worked better. I don't know. It's still great. Mm. 
You can taste the Cajun, you can taste the lemon and the oil. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. It's damn good. Oh my God, I can't believe what you want. All right, that's one down. All the rest to go. See how we're doing. I mean, it's working. It's not hot enough. Should uh, should have worked on the fire, like I said. All right, we'll work on it. Yeah, we're getting some brown. Thanks, bud. Right back at you. Oh, you red hairy. All right, bees and G's. Here's where we lose all the knuckle hair. All right, while that gets back up to temperature, we're gonna try it. <clears throat> How's this? Not our best work, but it looks delicious. Fries look done, and the fish is kind of breaded so hey fish and chips right oh where's my manners on this channel we like to say grace before we eat all hail algorithm thank you algorithm we love you please spread this video far and wide to many boys and girls men and women more importantly i swear too much uh that will subscribe to one day free us from the nine to five grind thank you for friends and family let's eat hmm all right. Mm. I mean, it's no pub dinner. But it's cooked well. The fish is flaky. Still moist. Mm. And the fries are somewhat crispy, but cooked, cooked to perfection. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised it came out so I had to restoke the fire because uh, I need that oil to get way hotter for the next round because we're just going to do this all over again. So I'm going to eat most of this. Well, I'm going to eat all of this and make a whole other plate. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Um, I don't do mouth slurpy noises. Well, I am right now, but I try not to. So I'll eat this in peace and tend to the next batch. All right. Thank you. piece of fish here we go the biggest one it's a monster Ooh, that's hot ah. Oof, that's a lot of fried food all right that is good fish but man I'm getting full already oh I got it everywhere but I was right, the last one, best breading, it's crispy on the outside, delicious. Hmm. Hope those fries turn brown soon, because I want those and they look good. Oof, I didn't expect a clean plate club that, but I didn't, I ate most of it. Chucked a couple of flakes into the fire, because I still have those fries to finish. Sit right back in the smoke like we always do. Oh, that's just the skin. That'll be crispy. <laughs> nope. Still good, though. But my error was not bringing a uh, thermometer. Because the last time I made loaded fries at camp, 
They were phenomenal. I'm just gonna sit here. Sun has gone behind the trees, so it's gonna get dark soon and cold. It's already starting to come down. I'm just gonna eat these, listen to some music by the fire. You guys listening to good music lately? Oh, we do have um, new lights to try too, so that'll be fun. The hammock looks comfortable too. I'm gonna eat this, probably just hang out in there for a little while. All right, I'm gonna relax outside. I'm bringing you back in a little while. Need a table for this whole purpose here, so we put that away. This table. Now here's a conundrum. Um, I don't have a vehicle or a cooler or a safe place to put these pans full of oil and my dirty silverware. So my thoughts are if raccoons are going to come, you might as well not give them any obstacles to paw through and keep them over here with me over there. So I think I'm just going to leave them out. I'll deal with them in the morning. problem with loving music is you always forget to turn it off when you're filming. Anyway, we're doing cocoa. It's already in there. Land of Lakes, French for nope. Just in case I can't use the first take. And we're going to try to hang this over the fire because, I don't know, I've never done it before. I have a stick. I don't have anything better to do, so I'm just going to hold it. I don't know how I'm gonna pour it after, but it's a later problem. Right now, hot water. Beautiful night. It's been a good day, it's a good trip so far. Neighbors are loud, but that's what you get at a campground. We didn't get neighbors on that side yet, so that's good, but the guy two spots away is one of the loudest humans I've ever encountered. In a way, it reminds me of my dad, you know? The kind of person that can't whisper because you can hear him from three rooms away still. All right, I'm gonna be here for a while. I'll bring you back when it starts to bubble. Now just picture me with an even longer gray beard like I mentioned earlier. Um, I took the lid off so I could see what was happening. And how else was I gonna get pieces of bark in my drink? It's pretty interesting. If you hold it, you can feel the flames hit it from underneath. You can like feel the vibration of the energy. It's real weird. Not like that kind of vibrational energy. I mean, you can actually feel it in your hand. All right, it's hot enough. Let's go. We use the stuff sack as a pot holder. It was boiling for a little bit. Let's see. That's a lot of steam, that's a good sign. Shake and not stewed. All right. Smells good. I think I put too much water in for the one cocoa packet, but. Mmm, it's hot, but it's not burn your face hot. That's good. Wow. <laughs> this might be one of my most indulgent cam solo camps ever. I made dinner, I ate way too much. Um, that fish is like 1% of my body weight. But then I got a cocoa, I brought a coffee with me, I got coffee for the morning. I remembered creamer this time, unlike last camp, and 
I got mystery snacks. Um, I got a bag of chips and jerky and just like when we were a kid, pecan spin wheels. A little crushed from shipping, but you know, delicious. This is getting chillier out. Alright, when was the last time you refreshed? 5.06 p.m. It still says it's 55, but that's also at my house. Only 20 minutes away. What was that? Hourly. 6 and 7 shows thunderstorms. It is gray. Uh-oh. <laughs> it did get gray. <laughs> I didn't really notice. I was busy doing my stuff. Okay. Well... I gotta knock down the front poles and get comfy in the hammock in a little while anyway. It's gotta wait until dark to uh, venture out of the campsite, if you know what I mean. You meant piss. Hmm. This is a great day, great night. It would have to torrentially downpour to even come anywhere close to ruin in this camp. This is amazing. And as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for coming, everybody. Cheers. Get yourself a cocoa, a beverage. I'll wait. Cheers. It's a good cocoa. It's getting chilly. I should probably layer up. Already cold, you saw me take it off the fire. Unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna clean up, put some tunes on, and chill. All right, we'll um, catch up when it's bedtime. I'm gonna go turn the lights on though, that'd be nice. Leave one side up for now. As it gets darker, we'll knock it down. Or if the rain comes while we're sitting here. Let's be vigilant about that, but I should get my other layer on. Hey, Fuzzy Timberland, right? This is one of my best investments. I know this is gonna be usable because the fucking guy's over there. All right, GoPro, stop recording. All right, these logs were too wet to burn properly, but that hasn't stopped me from trying. Lights are nice, right? Wife let me borrow hers. On both accounts, actually. I got a lantern front of there, too. Mm. That's rain, boys and girls. Let's go. Well, we busted out the light for two seconds, but this thing's pretty nice. Got its own stand. It stands up. It's got stakes with it. You can use it as an ambient light. You can swivel it to point it where you want your light to be. It's quite good for filming at night. We finally got one. But I'm nervous about this rain. So we're gonna go hunker. Well. I'm getting wet and knock the tarp down on your side.
That was a yikes, but we got it. All right, well, we got a little wet, but our tarp came flying off our stakes, or our poles. Oh, I know how to do it better. Shit, I messed up. I gotta redo it. Be right back with you. There we go. I don't know what you can see, what you can't, so good luck to us both. Don't fall, buddy. How's that? I want to keep the light off the wet ground. Hey, who saw this coming, right? Um, we should probably get a headlamp and whatever the other thing is. Um, toothbrush and stuff. I haven't finished my cocoa yet. I was going to climb in the hammock, but then I realized my pants are probably dirty everywhere. And I don't want that in my bed. Which, I mean, you know, you're camping, it's fine. You bring up, clean out your sleeping bag when you get home. But I haven't had a chance to examine myself after cutting wood and rubbing up against everything. So fresh to death, I know that, but thank you. I think now we just sit and listen to the rain. My headlamp's in your battery bag though, so when you get a chance, bud. Finally got the fire going good too. <laughs> I did save all the wood though, well the rest of the wood that I bought. So, just hang out here for a while. It's very nice, cocoa's good. Let's see the sound of the rain. The nice neighbors. Of course the neighbors. Take a gander. My poor fire, way over there. This is as close as I could get with the trees. So, we're just going to chill here for a little while, hopefully the tarp holds the rest of the night. That was wild, it flipped right over upside down. Alright, um, the rain has stopped for now, so I guess we can go sit back by the fire and warm up again. It is cold, you can see my breath. Um, I was hoping to dive into these crisps. We got mystery chips today, our Irish potato chips, original Atlantic sea salt, thick cut with the skins on it. It sounds great. But, I did eat a pound and a half of fish. So, I might wait on that. But, for now, let's go sit back by the fire. It's a busy night at the campground. Everywhere is full, except my neighbors didn't show up on this side, which is nice. They really pack them in over here. I can see four fires from where I'm at. Which, you know, Hopefully nobody's paying attention to us, because that'd be embarrassing. I don't know, the uh, park ranger recognizes my name because I come here so much. <laughs> Alright, you don't need to watch me do this. Floss, brush teeth, mouthwash, I'll bring you back after. I was still talking. I guess that's not fair because I'm still talking to you, so. Cool. Let's get down there, finish tooth hygiene. Six o'clock. It's dark. It's getting cold. And by that, I mean it's only supposed to get to like the mid 30s. So, it'll be more than warm enough. Can't wait to climb in. I have a feeling it's going to be sooner than later. It's peaceful. So, I'm going to get in the hammock. And uh, hope for the best. Alright boys and girls, I think that's it for me for the night. I'm going to uh, try to stay dry here, and if it doesn't work, the ride's always a funk all the way.
Love your wife here. Let's uh, get some rest. Make some coffee. Mm, all right. All right. Seven o'clock. This is thirty eight though. It's not pretty good. Alright, I suppose. I laid here long enough. Let's make some extra coffee. There we go. We got pants on again. Good morning. Look at this. Where we survived. It's the top. Had to knock the poles down quite a bit in the night. And nothing disturbed our pans. So, let's have fire, make some coffee. Alright, I had to get a few things, so I figured it. Put away half a camp while I was over there. I'm gonna light a fire. Just a few pieces of this wood. And we will make coffee and warm up. So we got left for our bundle of palace scraps. Alright, let's get on with it because I need a coffee. MSR Pocket Rocket to the rescue. I used this for a week making food at my house because my stove went out and my landlord's crap. Um, I need a place to live and work. So if you're in southwestern New Hampshire and you have an apartment and a job, let me know. You know what? No, not even southwestern New Hampshire. If you're anywhere where I can live and work at the same time, I'm ready to go. Gas is cold. I gotta do it over here, block the wind. I say, the more aggressively you can pour it, the more stable you know it is. Nice. All right. I think it's going. It's trying. Fire's going, my nose is going, jeez. Trusty Yeti. Hasn't failed us yet, so keep it going. There. 
We got our grinder over there. San Francisco Coffee Company's Fog Chaser Blend. And I'll save you the grinding montage because you don't have battery or you don't have memory card for that kind of thing, but I'll bring you back when it's coffee time. All right, good morning. Thanks for coming. Looks beautiful. It's kind of cold. Almost there. Coffee calisthenics. Here we go. The sunrise looks pretty. Well, clouds, but. Maybe next time I'll buy the ground coffee. <sighs> Lovely. Almost there. Should go pick up some more stuff from the shelter while I wait. Here we go, we're at full boil. That's a king size yum right there. All right, I got most of that put away, just a hammock. I'm gonna actually for once drink my hot coffee in the hammock when it's done, so looking forward to that. <laughs> I miss that. These pour overs outdoors are always stronger than the percolator at home. So, camp coffee just hits different. Okay, well, let's finish picking up. Okay, about out of here, guys. I'm gonna give this thing another 10 minutes. Before I pack it up, enjoy my coffee, and listen to the wind. So, uh, you know, if you won't stuck around this far, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming, and we'll do it again soon. As always, I'm Paul. Go camp. And then the PCD, the post-camp depression, kicks in. <laughs> it's been a nice time though, but I'm cold, I can't feel my fingers. One hammock, two straps, and we're out of here. <laughs>